Hi, my name is Riga Smith Kergard, and I'm the author of the book The Blink of an Eye. New Year's Day, I felt very ill. It was bacterial meningitis, but we thought it was the flu. The doctor came out, diagnosed the flu, but the day after I went into a coma and they found out after I was rushed to the hospital that it was bacterial meningitis. Um, I was in a coma for about 12 days. When I came out from the coma, I couldn't talk, I couldn't move, um, I could hardly breathe. Um, I had to learn everything again. I lost my fingers uh, from this and the sight on my left eye um, because of this bacteria. When I, when I woke up, I had to, I had to go into a very um, hard training program to actually just being able to move my arm again. Um, and that took about five months. After that, I was ready to come home. But after I came home, I still had a lot of training to do. So it took about two years to reach the point where I am today. Much of it was luck, obviously, and very, very talented doctors and nurses. Um, I owe them everything, I mean, and, and I owe a lot to my family. If they hadn't been there, it would have been almost unbearable. Um, it's very important when you go through th something like this to have uh, love, uh, your family, or mom and dad, or siblings, anyone who can give you the support that you actually need because you cannot possibly do this by yourself. But what I did for myself was I set myself tiny goals. So I knew that I wanted to walk, but I also knew that I couldn't, I wasn't able to walk within the next month or so. So I had to find another goal for me. So maybe I was able to move my foot. So that was my goal. Or I was able to, um, to take 10 minutes on the, on the bike in the bed. I had a, I had a bed bike. <laughs> um, so maybe I was able to, to give that a go for 10 minutes. So all the time setting yourself small goals, that was, that was um, helpful for me. And um, I'm also, I'm very competitive, <laughs> which also was helpful. Uh, I have uh, a research career before this happened. And I, um, I think that helped me too. So being, being used to the competitive, um, the competitiveness of, of being a human and having a career. Yeah. Right. But it's pretty hard learning everything again. So when you're a baby, everything comes naturally. You, you breathe straight away, you, you learn how to walk, you, everything, learn how to eat, um, things like that. It's, it's actually pretty hard learning all those things again. Um, and it takes a lot of effort. I also learned a lot about my fellow patients. I started to see the human being uh, behind that person. And that was very, um, if you say it was very beautiful uh, for me to actually reach that point. Um, because you know, you're so busy in your everyday life and you don't really notice people anymore. I also learned that everyday matters. Uh, your life can be over in a second and you have no say in it. Uh, you don't control that process. Make the most of it and uh, be kind and make an effort to, to society, to something that makes sense. You have to, it's not all about you, you know, it's, it's about community. It's about making an effort for the common good. So this is not just you going through this. Everyone around you is going through this. And everyone you love, everyone you love suffers. It's not just you. Um, so be there for each other. 
and also a long time after it's it's all over it's never over really but uh, be there for each other um after uh after the incident as well um focus on the things that you can control yeah i think the most important thing is that every day matters make make the best of it